this uh, wave function, and then you apply symmetry. Symmetry means that uh, this square well is symmetrical on either side, on, on between two and three uh, either side. That puts some constraint on uh, the constant you can have, the C and D constant that you could have. Okay? Uh, so if you do that, you'll find that the, 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 this expansion coefficient, uh, D is related to C, either positive C or negative C. And you then apply, uh, finally, you then apply the boundary condition, and there are, there are four boundary conditions, right? There's one that occur here, occur here, and occur here, and occur here, right? The one that on the outside is very much the same as the single square well, because the wave function must be zero outside the square well. Inside the square well, okay, uh, you would you would expect to be some sort of standing wave, just like a single square well. But in here, you would have some termination. So you would have like this. I'm trying to draw a little tail going penetrating into into this. Okay, so that that's how I would uh, uh, the picture if this uh, sort of boundary condition. So you look at boundary condition. When you say look at boundary condition, you set x equal to the boundary, in this case x equal to c, which is this point, sorry, let me just draw one. When you say boundary condition, you have to pick which, which boundary. So at this boundary, x equal to c, right, x equal to c, you take your solution uh, in, uh, in 2, must be equal to solution in 1, you set it to x equal to c. Okay, so solution in C2 is this one here. Solution in 1 is this one here. You set it to C. You set x equals C and substitute. Okay? Now, the second thing about uh, boundary condition is that uh, both the uh, wave function and its first derivative must be the same. Okay? So, so this is, again, related to quantum mechanics, one of the parts of quantum mechanics. So, um, so you take the derivative of first derivative of this this side, you get this. Okay, both the normal equation and the derivative of that equation must be the same. And then, likewise, you can do the same uh, for, so this boundary condition will be the same as x minus c, this one. And then you have, look at x uh, c uh, plus 2a, which is this boundary condition. Uh, on the other side, right, so you, you have this guy here, must equal to zero on the other side, okay? So you got, what well, in effect you got three unknowns, you have three equations, three unknowns, and so in principle, we ought to be able to solve them, okay? And uh, just uh, before we go, uh, the solution, it turned out to be a, uh, a tangent function like this. And I'll come back and I'll talk a little bit about this uh, 